In this video, I will show you how to set up timer for quiz using JavaScript. So first, we display a counter here, a countdown timer. Then after this timer goes to down to zero, the form is quick is submit. Then we quick submit the quiz form. So let's look at the source code here. So first, we design deep here. The deep now first with nothing in this deep, but we have an ID here. We call it quiz time left. This is a sec uh, minutes and seconds. I will display how many minutes and seconds left here in this deep. So first we have a JavaScript here. So JavaScript is JavaScript code to display this the timer here. So first we define how many total seconds initial. So for example I want to get the 10 minutes of a timer, total 10 minutes timer. So total second is the 60 times 10, so 600 seconds. So now I can calculate the how many minutes from total second so total seconds divided by 60 the integer power we use the this pass integer this integer power is the minutes and with total seconds divided by 60 the remainder is the seconds here so we have JavaScript function check time here. And we have a set timer, a set time out, check time per 1000 milliseconds. It's millisecond, indeed, one second. We call a JavaScript check time. One second in check time. So in this check time, we have document.getElement by ID quiz left. Is call this the deep, deep because the deep ID is the quiz time left. So the inner HTML, the content of inner HTML is I display time left here plus C minutes. Minutes I calculate how many minutes left, C second, how many seconds left. So I calculate this total times initial is the 600 here, but it will change. So if this total time seconds less or equal zero, set time out document or quick to submit. I will submit this this form. Form this form is actually take test of PHP. Uh, in the reality, you can put a quiz question here. When you click this one, it automatically submit this form. So if this second is not the less uh, equal zero, so we can put a total seconds minus one. So we uh, decrease one second because this is the set time out. It was each time one second. Check one second per second here. So total second minus one here. So after minus one, we can calculate how many minutes left, and we can calculate how many seconds left. And this one, after this one, we can call a set time out again. Each time it's this loop, keep uh, each second each call itself to reduce the uh, one second until to zero second. So let's run this code. So let's run this code. You, you can see here, now initial is 10 minutes. Now each, each one second, each second it, it is uh, reduce until the zero until the zero seconds it will go to submit the form so in summary we can use javascript function check time and each check time which is a loop excel and for once each, each second reduce one one second and Call, use a send set time or call it again. Thanks for your watching.